Hey guys, BX Bricks back with another LEGO Transformer review. Now, um, this was a client-driven project right here. I was asked to build G1 Slipstream. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we have Slipstream, which um, is one of the, I guess, maybe better known fembots outside of RC and Chromia. Um, to me, this is probably my favorite fembot. I had to find a way to alter my existing seeker mode and make a more feminine shape out of it. So um, definitely a sleeker wing, sleeker leg, sleeker um, cone piece and everything that you see right there. So um, originally I just recolored Starscream in purple and blue and it's like, oh, here you go. But um, I wasn't satisfied with it. So um, this, I eventually designed it with um, doing like a, a three stud wide chest. Um, I kept the waist four studs wide just for, you know, to, to give it more of like a, a curvy look. So, um, I think it came out pretty dope. So, we are going to get into transformation. So, to transform Slipstream, what you want to do is start folding out these legs, which I'm using on, um, well, I'm using some of these mixo pins that I haven't really used yet. I don't know if you kind of see those in there. This one right there is like a little uh, mixel pin on like a one by one round plate, which is you know completely dope. So we're gonna fold these out and just fold out the legs like so. Um, as you can see, she has like kind of like a high heel design. So we just and it makes it very posable, and she you know she has no problem standing at all. So you rotate the feet around, just like on the regular seekers, you fold these uh, side fins back. And then we're gonna pick up the little, the little tail piece right there. If I can get you to focus, there you go. So that, we're just gonna pick up and get out the way for now. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna bend the legs forward. Like so and then bend the waist back. Once again, get this little tail piece out the way. Next thing we're gonna do is lift the head up. As, I, as you can see, it's kinda tucked in there in the chest, but it's very well hidden. So to get that out, I just pull that through. Make sure the head is rotated appropriately so it doesn't give us any issues with that. Like so, make sure you guys can see that. Um, and then it's on a jumper plate right here. So we're gonna just rotate this 180 degrees. Like so. The next thing we're gonna do is take this nose cone right here and bend this in like that and then bend it there's another uh those are the plate with a vertical clip right there so then we just slide all of that in just like the traditional seekers and probably even more so because i have it on a t-joint and i actually have the t-joint poking through a one by one round with a hole attached to the clip. Those are very useful. Definitely um, invest in some of those. So then we can move the head up. And I have the head just on a one by one brick with one stud. I didn't want to do like a whole, you know, plates on the side. This way it gives it a more feminine look. That's why I also use the, the round flat plate instead of the square one. And um, it allows it to fit inside of the you know, the three stud wide chest. So we're almost done with that. I also have more of these little uh, mixel pins back there. And what we wanna do for that, actually, let's rotate these null rays and get those out the way first. Got one arm. Move this 
swing out the way. And we have the other null ray out the way. So what I want to do for these wings is rotate this mixel pin back this way. You kind of have to like work with the wing a little bit just to make sure that, you know, it's going to keep bumping into stuff. So then from there, you want to kind of rotate it, but you probably want to move this nose cone out the way just a little bit. So just rotate this like that, and then you can poke it up that way. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And they're, they're very, very user friendly, these Mixel pens. I'll probably be using these a lot more often in my um, Transformer builds. Alright, let's straighten up the wings a little bit. You can pose up the arms any way you like. So that she's not looking, you know, too stiff or anything. Yep, and I was almost through a whole video without something falling off. Almost through a whole video. Almost. And then we could just pull this little tail pin a tail fin up and then start posing her up. Just straighten her up right there. And there we have her. Whoa, no splits, no splits. She could split, but that's not what she's here for today. All right, so let's raise up the camera. Got a nice and center stage. Raise it up a little bit more and zoom in. So we can get a nice uh, close up on her. Nice. And I, I kind of like um, the design, especially with the ankles, because it, it allows for a lot of, you know, it's more advanced posing with the feet. Shows easier direction than, you know, my other Transformers. So. Just give her a nice little final spin. I definitely plan on, I guess, like retooling this for, uh, I think it's wing blade, even though she has like a whole headdress type of thing and I might not be able to duplicate that, but at least I'll be able to duplicate the body. At least, you know, maybe to the best of my abilities. So this is BX Bricks. Thanking you guys once again for watching these videos, sharing them, commenting. Those definitely mean a lot. And also mean a lot, you know, if you, uh, you know, share them and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what's going on so that way I know what to bring you guys. Um, just wanted to do a quick little um, review before I send her off to my client. Because I think this is, a, you know, a pretty cool build and I want to share it with you guys before, you know, it disappears or before I get the chance to get more pieces to build my own. Because, I mean, I think it's pretty well. I wish I could keep it, but it's not mine anymore. <laughs> So um, definitely stay tuned for uh, more videos. Um, let me let, let me know what you guys think about the whole Lego Transformer Combined Wars line that I'm presenting to you. Um, I'm not sure when I'm coming out with this video, but so far we got Superion out there. Um, it looks like we're going to be doing a, a Computron September. So let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments below. Anything you'd like me to like to see me build in the future. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.